Welcome Scorpio and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message on your twin flame journey, week commencing Monday the 28th of December 2020 through to Sunday the 3rd of January 2021. I've already pulled your crowning um, messages and your crowning wisdom messages. Let's take a look at them, Scorpio. For your crowning message, your first card is Barrier. Then we have Karmic Partner and Understanding. Okay, Scorpio, what I'm picking up here is that um, I feel as though for the last week of December, I feel as though you're waking up um, to a karmic partner that has been a barrier between you and your uh, divine counterpart. Um, and I feel as though um, it's been quite transformational for you. Certainly, um, you are being illuminated um, by it. Um, by the realisation that uh, you have a karmic partner that is around you, um, that is uh, a barrier between you and your twin flame. It's as though you are gaining um, some sort of understanding, clarity, and I feel as though it is um, illuminating you going through a transformation of realising the person that you're with is actually a karmic partner. For your crowning wisdom message, you have 555. Your angels are with you during this time of change and transition. And do you know what, Scorpio? I feel as though as you are beginning to wake up and realise the person that you are currently with or the person that you thought was your twin flame is actually a karmic partner that's been creating a barrier between you and your true twin flame that understanding um, that's been illuminated to you, I feel as though your angels are coming in to let you know that they're around you through this change, through this awakening um, and through this transition. And in the meantime, I feel that you're also getting the message with 651, your twin flame has been visiting you in your dreams, right? You're feeling down upon awakening. Do you know what, uh, Scorpio? I feel as though you are feeling your true twin flame on that 5D, on that astral, um, astral plane. And it's as though um, whatever they have been communicating with you, Whatever you are either picking up intuitively, consciously or unconsciously, I feel it's your twin flame that's been communicating with you to help you see that there's a barrier between you and them coming into union. And it's because you're involved with a karmic partner. And then we have 1111, our twin flame card. Um... What can I say, Scorpio? Uh, awakenings and activations are at hand. Be on the lookout for signs guiding the way. I feel as though in conjunction with your angels, your spirit team, your twin flame speaking to you um, in that 5D astral plane through dreams, um, you are certainly being awoken and activated to your true twin flame. And I feel as though... Um, the action that you're being guided to take with the yellow representing the solar plexus is to use that wisdom and intuition and the power of that within you to see the signs and synchronicities to help you break down uh, this barrier and to come into union um, with your twin flame because they evidently know who you are. And obviously, they want to come into union with you. Okay, Scorpio, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click the thumbs up on this video. And if you would like to know when I'm uploading new messages, um, also, please feel free to subscribe um, and 
yeah, subscribe to the channel. I, I welcome you to Spirit and Truth and it also helps to support the channel. So thank you. All right, Scorpio, let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the twin flames of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love on their twin flame journey week commencing Monday the 28th of December 2020 through to Sunday the 3rd of January 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Scorpio that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. Alrighty, Scorpio, let's see what's going on with you. All right, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how do... Ooh, okay, thank you. We have, look at that, fresh start. Dark night of the soul, signs... Okay, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how, thank you, refocus and release, thank you, okay, all right, Scorpios, I feel as though the person that you're connecting to as your true twin flame as they are communicating with you in dreams to help you awaken to the fact that you are connected to a karmic partner um, is guiding you for a fresh start. Um, and I feel as though they're coming in trying to offer this fresh start with you. Um, they may have gone through a dark night of the soul. This image does remind me um, of the divine masculine. Um, so whether or not, um, depending on whatever side you're resonating with, um, Scorpio, I feel as though it's the divine masculine that's coming in here, um, wanting a fresh start. Scorpio, you may be the divine masculine because it almost feels as though, um, the divine masculine is going through a dark night of, a, of the soul, having an understanding that they are uh, with a karmic partner that is creating a barrier between them and their twin flame. And your twin flame is coming in to saying that they want a fresh start with you. So I do strongly feel as though um, I am I'm speaking to the uh, divine masculine Scorpios out there and Scorpio as um, you as the divine masculine is going through that dark night of the soul awakening to the fact that you may be still connected with a karmic partner I feel as though you are awakening and being activated um, and Again, it says, be on the lookout for signs guiding the way and look at what's come out as your middle card signs. And I feel as though this is divine spirit universe coming in very, very strongly to say to you, look out for the signs and synchronicities that we are guiding you on. And as as you do so, I feel as though it's going to refocus you to take a different path um, to your divine feminine and as you do it's releasing whatever barrier or karmic partner is coming in in order for you to yeah refocus let's have a look at your clarifiers wow that was that almost just felt like a complete story so scorpios um divine masculine scorpios i feel as though just a recap I feel as though you've gone through a dark night of the soul. B 
being illuminated to understand that the person that you're currently with is a karmic partner, creating a barrier between you and your divine feminine. You're being guided to look out for the signs and synchronicities to put you back on the right path, to refocus you so that you can release what is not serving you and come into union with your um, divine feminine. And I feel as though um, the uh, 1111 a card is just reconfirming the wisdom that you already may be feeling in your solar plexus that you need to take the action to look out for these signs and synchronicities and look we have got um okay so it feels as though um scorpio divine masculines you're coming in um slow and steady for this fresh start with your divine feminine and it's after a period of going within seeking guidance and i feel that's as you're going through this dark night of the soul uh masculine uh divine masculine scorpios i feel as though you may be dealing with somebody with virgo in their chart or you may be dealing with virgo in your chart but you are definitely coming in as that king of pentacles um slow and steady wanting this fresh start after being illuminated that you are with a karmic partner that's creating a barrier between you and your um, twin flame. And as you go through that dark night of the soul, um, divine masculine Scorpios, and I to, to reiterate the reason why I'm picking up the divine masculine Scorpios that I'm reading for is because of this dark night of the soul, which is a divine masculine image that has been clearly, um, uh, it has been illuminated to the understanding that they're with a karmic partner. And because that understanding is in this top row, Scorpios, um, which is all about your energy and the wisdom that divine spirit and universe are trying to give to you in this crowning message. And that dark night, the night of the skull, the dark night of the soul is right underneath understanding. That is why I am being clearly guided that this message is for the divine masculine Scorpios out there. So divine masculine Scorpios, as you go through this dark night of the soul, soul being awakened, being illuminated to understand that whoever you are with is a karmic partner. I feel that you want to rush in with this new start, being illuminated, being awoken, being activated. Uh, Scorpio, you may have um, either you or your partner uh, may have cancer in their chart or Virgo, which we said already. OK, and, and yeah. And you want to come, you want to rush into your divine. Um, I feel as though you want to rush into your divine feminine who's coming in as a queen of wands. Somebody that you probably know, somebody that you hold in high regard. They are protecting their heart. They may, may might be quite blunt, quite... Um, judgmental perhaps but they speak their truth yeah and look with that two of wands um scorpio yeah you're at a crossroads whilst you're looking for those signs and synchronicities i feel as though divine will come in and guide you with those signs and synchronicities as to which path to take um to lead you to your divine feminine my angels and spirit guides of oh, the thank you. Yeah, look, what did I just say? Whatever path you are at a crossroads with, I feel that you're going to, as you're awakening um, and being activated, looking for those signs and synchronicities which you're being guided to look out for because it's going to help you to choose the correct path to get to your um, divine feminine who has that empress energy um, somebody that speaks their truth um, Scorpio um, and somebody that is grounded abundant um, 
somebody that you probably see yourself building a family with somebody extremely divinely guided spiritual thank you and yeah and i feel that that's your energy coming in as the uh king of wands being refocused towards your divine feminine counterpart yeah strongly and here you come in again i feel as though you're taking the lead once you start seeing um these signs and synchronicities and as your angels um uh, are around you during this change um and transition to work through this dark night of the soul however to break away from or close out a karmic cycle clearing down breaking down that barrier in order for you to move closer to your divine feminine i feel as though you're taking that strong action um with that emperor you could be you could have aries in your chart or the person you're connecting to has aries in their chart but you have a lot of passion um for this person and i feel as though you are yet you're feeling very strong strong action taking you're taking the lead on this oh wow look at that with the wheel of fortune this is fated to happen um and you are fated to release a karmic partner through understanding that triggers a dark night of the soul in order for you to it almost feels as though it's a ripple effect scorpio it's as though your twin flame by visiting you in your dreams has helped you to wake up and you know what it may you may have just over a period of time you've just had this kind of something you know in the gut in your gut something consciously unconsciously that's just you know pricking you um and i feel that that little that little pull, that little, you know, gut intuition. I feel it's your twin flame that's been speaking to you, planting um, the information in your um, in your heart space, in your soul, in your spirit to let you know to look out for the signs and synchronicities, to wake up and have that understanding that actually you're with a karmic partner and it's creating a barrier between you and your divine feminine and as such i feel because look at this release card this is a, a young boy and in the refocus card is a young girl so i feel as though um i feel as though scorpio you are the one because we've already ascertained that i'm speaking for the divine masculine scorpios i feel that you're the one that has to release the karmic partner so that you can be refocused to follow the path of your divine mask uh, divine feminine and yeah look at that as you release right now you may not know which path to take but if you look um this lady can see through that veil and i feel as though you're beginning to see through the veil of releasing a karmic partner closing out that cycle and i feel that's coming through a number of channels it's as though your angels are guiding you your twin flame is guiding you and at the same time you've got divine spirit universe awakening and activating this connection for you and guiding you towards the signs and synchronicities um, to help you along this journey let's have a look at your message from your twin flame oh, if it didn't leave that wanted to come out quite oh okay we have two messages from your twin flame the first one is you've been in my dreams so do you know what um what was i saying your twin flame um scorpio has been speaking to you quite strongly in your dreams and they are letting you know that you may also have been talking to them 
Do you know, I almost have a vision of seeing, look at these two here. It almost feels as though in your dreams, you're almost sitting down having a consult. And look, it's the, almost like the divine feminine is sitting there saying to the divine masculine, but can't you see, can't you see that you're with a karmic partner and it's creating a barrier between us? And as such, it triggers a fresh start as you go through um, that dark night of the soul having been illuminated. So I feel that your twin flame is coming in and saying, you've been in my dreams. And the next message from your twin flame is you inspire me. And I feel as though um, by your twin flame knowing who you are um, and as you are getting to know um, who they are you may have really been um, without even consciously realizing it um, inspiring them to look for the signs and synchronicities of what is guiding them to you they may have also had to go through a dark night of the soul if they were in karmic partners as well i mean this is a twin flame um so you guys will mirror each other but i feel as though the divine feminine has gone through their dark night of the soul now and that's what's inspired them and that almost feels as though it's heightened their spiritual connection um aligning their chakras um so that they can feel you on that 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 sacral um chakra point to help you um awaken to the understanding that you need to go through a dark night of the soul because you are connected with a karmic partner that's creating a barrier between the two of you and my angels and spirit guides of the divine what other messages thank you and your next message from your twin flame says i'm in a much better headspace now okay so that just confirms um for me scorpio that your twin flame your divine um feminine uh has also gone through a dark night of the soul um having a fresh start and it almost feels as if whatever they've gone through um it they may have been connected to a, a karmic partner as well um, I feel as though it refocused them to take a different path and the path was leading to you. And I feel as though as they have that clarity, that better headspace, that's how they're being able to communicate with you on that 5D through your dreams. And your next message says, I'm not the same person that you remember. Absolutely. Um, so, uh, Scorpio, whether or not um, your twin flame, your divine counterpart was supposed to learn something from past lifetimes, I feel as though they've done that, they've achieved that. Um, and so when you come into union with them in this lifetime, I feel as though they're letting you know that you're not going to recognise them. They are they are a different person to what you remember in past lives. Wow, it's almost it feels as though they've gone through some major awakenings and activations. Following signs and synchronicities to refocus them. Wow. OK, Scorpio, I'm going to leave that there. That was pretty... Um, pretty straightforward it it's your divine feminine um has obviously gone through an awakening activation they know who you are i feel as though you have an inkling who they are um and as they communicate with you um in that astral plane on that 5d i feel as though your angels are helping you with the understanding that you're being illuminated to around a karmic partner that is creating a barrier between you and your divine feminine. Scorpios, 
this message resonates for you, please click the thumbs up on this video um, just to help push it out to more Scorpios. <coughs> and also, if you would like to know when I'm uploading Scorpios, please feel free to subscribe. Um, I welcome you to Spirit and Truth. And also, I thank you in advance for your subscription as it does help to support the channel. Scorpios, if you would like to follow me on Instagram, all the details are down below in the description box. Um, I welcome you um, to the, the wider um, journey of Spirit and Truth Tarot. So I, I thank you in advance. All right, Scorpio, until next week, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care of yourselves. Bye bye.